Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 PvP weapon showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Man Serpent Hatchet. Uh, one of the axes that I don't really use often. I mean, the Dragon Slayer axe is very common. Um, the Millwood, I guess, is sort of common, but I don't often see the Man Serpent Hatchet. It has a lot of range, I find. I don't know if it actually has a bigger hitbox than most of the other axes, but this one I find myself roll catching with a little bit better. It has pretty good damage output on really uh, heavy infusion or dark. At this soul level, I guess I, I figured elemental would be better because I don't like buffing. I'm pretty lazy and it does pretty good damage on a dark build, so I just went with that. Uh, my armor set is another fashion that I have for my pyro build. <laughs> well, sorry, not my pyro build, my dark chaos build with pyro stats, you know. Uh, but this is like another armor set that I like. I like the black iron one more, but I don't have it on this character, so no big deal. Uh, I have the Ethereal Oak Shield for regen, and if someone's just like having a full physical build, I can just like kind of tank them and then trade their roll catch after they run away. Um, yeah, don't really know what rings I'm going to be using, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, and let's, uh, yeah, I also don't need, I just realized something, I don't need to swap on the Priestess Ring. Bonus for casting miracles. I like dark builds. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, here's the stats, by the way, again, before we get into it. And what's this thing's actually a weapon art before I go in? I think it's a stomp. Yeah, and then it gets, that's another thing. Yeah, okay, it gets a, gets the heavy that all the axes get. No, that's what I thought. I'll probably, actually, how much does this buff it by? Not a whole lot, because it just buffs the physical, I believe. But hey, it's a buff, and I could put it on a dark weapon, so it's pretty sick. All right, let's go. I'm also really wondering, <laughs> I can't English. I'm also really wondering what the like combos are for this. I feel like axes have the ability to did they get an R1 jumping attack? Hello, Lolly. How are you, buddy boy? If you're gonna weapon art me, I am so gonna parry that. Oh, oh, I'm gonna parry that. Okay, we're starting off with a beautiful parry. No big deal. <laughs> He's gonna do it at least one more time. I have faith. I like that scythes don't get a stun. Okay. <laughs> GG, Lolly. Unless... No, okay. Dark backstabs are just so bad, I kind of thought that was going to do no damage. <laughs> Alright, GG on the first match. Didn't really get to test this. What do you guys think? Probably not our went to jumping attack, but we'll see. Ooh, what have we here? Uh, an Ornstein with a Lothric Knight Ultra. Okay, we're not going to be parrying that, so we're just going to, yeah. Hello, Tim. Oh, I don't have a buff. This is my buff. <laughs> Alright, Tim, you're going to be an example for me. I need to see my r1 combos into a rolling attack i mean jumping attack that would be a no okay well now i know and now we won't have to do that again you know what 700 on a dark backstab not bad i'm not gonna hate on that nice didn't think he'd go for the trade to be honest good fight tim <laughs> he hit r1 again but he tried to turn it around I like the Ornstein outfit though. Definitely one of my faves. It looks cool. Alright, depending on what we're fighting, I'm gonna try to land the, the heavy attack. This thing doesn't really have a weapon art per se, it's just a buff, so. <laughs> but it does make my heavies look cool. I'm gonna try a rolling heavy, because those look kinda cool. He also has one. I'm kinda scared though, because the hyper armor of that thing is horrifying, to be honest with you. I guess. Yeah. Oh, I tried to get the butt right there, but it didn't go my way. <laughs> I tried. I need to go for a parry. Good fight, Chados. Good fight, too. Can you... Oh, wait. My buff is gone. Okay. That changes the attack. Yeah. So far, this thing's been holding up. I'm not going to lie. I don't ever really use axes, but seems good. Hello, brother. Uh, Adora Deerheart. Okay. <laughs> he was waiting. He's like, fuck. I'm not gonna probably backstab a rapier, so... We'll see, though. <laughs> so far, those haven't hit, though. So that's actually not an entire loss. Yeah, let's see what my ring setup is like. I wonder why he's using... the. I mean, the weapon art is weird. It doesn't do enough damage for what it is, to be honest. I wanted to use the buff, you're rude. I thought it would stagger him and scare him. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay. I like the I like the R1 pokes. He does his running attack and then he follows up with a bunch of R1 pokes. Good fight, sir. Sometimes you get a third roll catch on this if you like time the third attack right. Just like barely, you do the first R2 or R1, then you wait like a second, then you do the third, and it's got that like insane range. <laughs> oh shit! There's the lap we know and love. A little bit of regen. I, I dig it. Oh, you know what? I could have did that too. <laughs> okay, buddy, let's do it, Avalon. <laughs> we just like apply 18 buffs, no big deal. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> so far, so good on us. I was kind of sketched because I was out of stamina, but that, that went my way. That's a lot of buffs. Oh, and he's got tears. You know what? I'll finish it like a man. Good fight, sir. You know what? This thing has a lot of range. I'm just noticing I can like a little bit outspace the exile and then swing and it'll still hit. So, deceptive range on this boy. Oh, and you know, we're fighting a variety of weapons today. No mass straight swords, I have to say. I am appreciative <laughs> of the arena today. Hello there, Lauren. Let's get our buff on. I've definitely been uh, one-handing this. I haven't been one-handing this. What do you think about... <laughs> okay, I guess I had to hold it a little bit longer. Also, I'm digging this guy's fashion, by the way. It's pretty nice. Oof, the instability frames do more damage. Good fight, sir. No one expects the kick. Honestly, the kick is deceptive. <laughs> All right. Oh, a sp that's actually the fire like buff from like the pyromancy. Oh, and then he just decided to cover it with poison. Interesting. Herpy dirt. You're interesting. I gotta give that to you. I don't think I have my wet wool. Is that oh, okay? I thought he did more than half his health for a second. I was like, Jesus. Herpy dirt. <laughs> I like the name though. No, I'm trying to time my R ones right between them. It's kind of difficult. What if I were to? Oh, that almost caught him way off guard. Worth. <laughs> I kind of want to win with the with the heavy at some at some point, so I'm gonna try to dodge, charge my heavy. <laughs> that scared him. He doesn't know how long it goes. <laughs> oh, this is kind of interesting. Good fight, Herpy Derp. Herpy Derpy. Good fight, sir. Oh, hello, Lothric Knight. Oh, he's actually cosplaying. Okay, I gotta give him that. Hello, dude. That's sick. You're a more powerful Lothric Knight, but you're a Lothric Knight, so I gotta, I gotta hand that to you at least. Oh shit. Oh, well, that's a that's a tricky Lothric Knight. <laughs> you have all the power, huh? Nice. My kick didn't hit, but the rest of it did. Maybe I can actually win with the heavy, depending on if he tries to cast shit at me. Oh, okay. I actually got a kill like that. Feels good. I didn't notice, but like. A, a part of it, like you kind of like stagger them back with that. Like I saw myself like stun him and then hit him. It's cool. All right, sir, or madam, you will be my final battle. Hello, DA. Hello. How are you, brother? Da, yaw. Or maybe he means yaw. Da or yaw. Honestly, the pontiff is interesting. It has different ranges, I would say, than a lot of other weapons. I kind of should have expected the R1 spam, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. Oh, I already have that ring on, sweet. Pontiff Knight is an interesting one. 
it's I guess it's just got really quick uh, R1s. That's, that's what it's got going for it, and it has good range. Yeah, you're honestly you're probably better off with the claymore to be honest, because I'm just gonna punish the spacing. And now I don't know. Either way, I guess GG. <laughs> good fight, sir. I like this thing. It's got good range. I mean, axes are a bit slow. Honestly, their weakness is being parried. Like once you see them wind up, you can parry that. But I didn't find one guy who tried to parry it, so yay. <laughs> All right, now we go for the invasion, boys. Okay, what I have to say is I, I love <laughs> invading at Meadow with Wex Dust because you get so many random areas. Like when I'm at 60 or 80, I kind of know where I'm going. <laughs> when I'm at Meadow, I have no idea. I can go anywhere. Like this, like the cathedral. I love it. I guess he could be in here. Ah, he is. Hello there, sir. I didn't expect you to be in here because, well, no one comes in here. Ah, uh, I could have just parried. <laughs> okay. We're just going to parry the poor lad then. I wonder if he knows that's parryable. Okay, I didn't get the second swing. You know that doesn't like hit stun, right? <laughs> As if you pulled that off. I gotta hand that to him. Oh yeah, we're we're not dueling. I can S this. What am I doing? <laughs> Do the weapon art. Do it. That's right. That part is parryable, son. That part is parryable. Oh, no double chug. It's gonna stay right up on his face. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you would lag right as you're losing. Okay, buddy, okay, all right. This guy unplugged his internet, of course. Okay, buddy, okay, sure. Sure. Alright boys, those are all the battles that I have for you for today with the Man Serpent Hatchet. We got a quit out at the end in a 1v1. Interesting that they would do that. Uh, but yeah, here is the stats again if you do want to check it out. It's a dark build. You don't need 33 strength. I just didn't know where else to put the stats to be honest. I never really used this, so that's what I did. And yeah, until next time in the weapon showcases, I'll see you then boys. Have a good night.